Okay, the first thing you want to do is you want to check to see if spark is coming to your spark plug or if spark is leaving the spark plug. I, I simply took the spark plug out and I connected the spark plug back into the boot. I put a jumper cable on it and then I just grounded the jumper cable to the battery or you could just ground it to the ground. Now if you have a spark plug tester it primarily works the same way and you just will ground it to a piece. So I'm going to have uh, the car cranked over and you'll see that spark is coming out. Okay, crank the car. So that's how you know that your spark plugs are working. Okay, now the second thing you want to do is test the resistance in your spark plug wires. So I have the wires, I have it set on ohms, and I'm just checking the resistance. Okay, now the third thing you want to test is your ignition coil. Right here, I just have the alligator clamps on, on the two towers of one ignition coil. And I'm going to turn my multimeter reader on, and I, I have it set to ohms. It's reading at 6,000, 6,100, and the book says you should be between 5,000 to 7,000. So that's how you check the ignition coil for resistance. Okay, now the fourth thing that you want to check is to see if power is going to your ignition control module. You disconnect the ignition supply and then you use one of these little 12 volts. I have it grounded to the battery. Simply one end just grounds to the battery. You, know, you just ground it to the battery or another good ground. Put this back on. And then you put the car, you put the key in the car to where the it's just on. And then as soon as you touch, if you're getting power, the light will come on. So that's the fourth thing. Okay, now the fifth step, you have to check the crankshaft position sensor, which is I already unplugged it, and you have to turn your multimeter to AC volt. Then you take each little connector and you put it in here while somebody cranks the engine, and you need, according to the book, you need at least 200 millivolts. Uh, I don't know if I could do this with one hand but you get the point so you put each prong in there and then it's kind of hard for me to hold and then you crank the engine and you want to get at least 200 millivolts 200 millivolts i can't do it with with one hand but you get the point okay now the sixth step we're going to test the ignition control module to see if it's sending power out Right here I have the light on the ignition coil, 2.5. So you see the, the, the little nut, I mean the bolt right here. Let's see if I can do this for you guys. This, this bolt is a 5.5 millimeter and then there's one right here in the back. So I take those off and then we'll test the ignition control module in a second. Okay, you want to take your 12 volt light again and attach one lead onto your ignition control module and then on the other one when someone is cranking the engine you touch it and the light should come on okay crank the engine do it again okay this is how I told you how I tested so many of the other parts of the ignition system. This is how I, I tested the ignition control module. I took my multimeter reader, I put it on ohms. When I touch this plate, it gives me no, I'm sorry. When I touch this plate, it gives me no reading. When I touch the plate of the new one, it gives, it, it registers a 1.0 to a 1.3. So that's how I tested that. 